Hi, my name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. And today we're gonna to be talking about 10 amazing picture books that I read aloud to my fifth graders. If you love reading picture books to kids, give this video a thumbs up. I think we all do, so we should see a lot of thumbs up there. So these are the 10 books, 10 of the books. We read many, 10 of the books that I read my fifth graders during the month of April. I'll put a list of all of the books down in the description if you wanna check them out and learn a little bit more. The last book, the last day of April that we read, Being Home, Tracy Sorrell, Michaela Goad. Holy smokes, Michaela. No, she won a call the cop medal. This is a beautiful story of a young Cherokee girl who is moving. They have lived in the city her whole life, the hustle and bustle, and they are moving to be closer to family and a little bit more of a slow down pace. It's just beautiful and home. It just feels homey. Uh, I think readers... Your readers are going to love it. I know, you know, my readers did, of course. Uh, but I think your readers are going to love this book, a brand new picture book that you need to check out. Next up, a funny one. So funny. Maddie Frost, Shared Space, the story of this little creature here who likes things neat and tidy, right? Lives in this little uh, apartment here in this little stump and likes the yard nice and clean. Nice and tidy, you know, simple. But then this uh, pack rat moves in next door and uh, let's just say kind of upsets the apple cart a little bit. It's hilarious, it's funny, great way to kind of love each other for who, who we all, each are and get a chance to, you know, become friends with people who are a little bit different than us. Super funny, hilarious, very fun book to read out. Earth Day, my favorite book to read on Earth Day. I've read it uh, every year since 2021, One Little Bag. An Amazing Journey by Henry Cole. It's a story of this little bag. And it's cool because it starts before the title page. And you can kind of see like you're going from the tree to being turned into um, paper and into a paper bag. And then the story begins here at the store where this boy gets this paper bag. And that paper bag stays with him for like the rest of his life. Starts taking it to lunch and then takes it to college gets married, it's part of everything, even when he's older, it's amazing. And then there's this really cool author's note at the end where Henry talks about celebrating the first Earth Day uh, when he was a kid and how he really did use like a paper bag for three years. And then when he graduated high school, he passed it on to someone else who used it after that. It's fascinating. I love this book, it's so unique. Night Owl, this book won a Call the Cot uh, Honor a couple of years ago for being one of the best illustrated books and I really liked it, but I didn't read it. I hadn't read it in over a year. And I'm going to tell you what, reading it again, I was just blown away and reminded of the pure magic of this gorgeous, gorgeous picture book. I don't know if you ever do that where you like like a book and then you don't read it for a little while and then you read it again, maybe with kids and you're like, wow, I love this book. I like it even more than I remember. That was the case for me with Night Owl. Maybe it was the way my kids responded to it. Maybe it was just revisiting it, but holy smokes. This is a, a really interesting, fascinating book. Uh, so this author, Joseph, he wrote these 10 word stories and then he had illustrators illustrate them. And this is how I read it. So I would read the 10 word story and I would ask the kids to picture the illustrations in their head, picture a scene in their head. And then I would show them the picture. It was really fun. So I'll do one as an example. That'll be my book talk. My splintered oars are lost as my boat speeds onward. My splintered oars are lost as my boat speeds onward. So they're all picturing something in their head. And then I go like this really slowly. Isn't that so cool? And there's just a whole bunch of those throughout the story. In a perfect world, if we had more time, I'd have them write 10 word stories and we'd pass them around and illustrate each other's. It would be amazing. We'd make our own book, but we're running out of time in fifth grade. One of the most beautiful nonfiction picture books you will read this year in 2024, And Yet You Shine, by Supriya Kalker, is the story of this diamond, this very famous diamond, and its journey. Um, it's just basically like its life from being found to uh, how colonization affected the possession and the ownership and the stealing of this diamond and the trickery that took place to take this diamond from who owned it and how it made its way back and then, oh, where it's at now. Holy smoke, we just look at the art, like seriously. Seriously, if you don't check this book out, you're really missing out because it is breathtaking. Remember, a list of all of these books are down in the description. A brand new 2024 book that at the time of this video 
And at the time of me uh, reading it to my kids, it's not out yet. The ship in the window. It's a story of this mouse and this boy and this father and a ship that is, you can kind of see it, uh, just kind of sitting there in the house in the window. And the dad makes it. It's very precious to him. Another situation where like there's story before the title page. And then this, you can see this, you can see it. Now the ship is in the window. And uh, this mouse lives there. And he really wants to take the ship into the ocean. And he does. And as you can imagine, he has a quite an adventure. Something bad happens. Maybe something good happens at the end. But a beautiful, beautiful book from Travis and Matthew. Highly recommend. Patriot's Day. Uh, I only know Patriot's Day, like remember it, because it's always the running of the Boston Marathon. And I know that the Red Sox play on that day as well. Uh, and this is a story I try to read on Patriot's Day when I remember. Um, the girl running, Bobby, Gibb, and the Boston Marathon. This is how Bobby wanted to run the Boston Marathon, but they wouldn't let her because um, she was a girl. And they didn't think that girls could do something like that. And it's a story of how she kind of just broke into the race and did it anyway. Uh, right here, so she's kind of hiding behind a bush. Fascinating book. Kids are really intrigued by it. It's interesting just how recent that kind of stuff is. Very sad, but awesome book. Uh, next up, one of the most fun picture books to read aloud in 2024, uh, Spider in the Well. It's a story of this kid, and he really gets taken advantage of um, by everyone in town, and they just like make him do things, and he like has a great attitude about it. But then the wishing well breaks, and they're all sad because now their wishes won't come true. So he has to go to the wishing well, and uh, see what's going on. And what he finds is the spiders down there and catching all the coins. So he, you know, has to figure things out, talk to the people in town, talk to the spider, realizes maybe their wishes weren't really wholesome. It's hilarious. Think about like how fun it is to read a book like I Want My Hat Back for the first time, or After the Fall by Dan Santamp for the first time. It's just like this, awesome. And then finally, Lauren Castillo, a just picture book savant. Her latest book, Just Like Millie, the story of a girl who's moved, she's in a new community, she's very anxious, she's very nervous, she doesn't really feel comfortable, struggles to talk with other people. Um, eventually her mom takes her to the shelter and they rescue Millie. And what she learns from Millie and watching Millie interact with new dogs uh, gives her some courage, gives her um, just the desire to to take that leap and to step outside of her comfort zone. It's a really beautiful book, as, you know, what else would we expect from Lauren Castillo? I'll show you a picture. Just like, seriously, just like, look at that art. Look at that detail. I hope you found something awesome to read from this list. Again, the, the titles of all of these books and a link uh, to them is in the description below if you're looking for great books to share with kids pretty much of any age, because these are just books that you could share from first grade, many of them, all the way through ninth, 10th, 11th grade, a lot of them as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome-tastic day.